Yeah, Asmodeus would have never been able to permanently move in with me, especially as our relationship evolved and he started to see the things that he couldn't get away with. Like he was, he would have never been able to get away with that. And the only reason that me and Asmodeus made it as far as we did is because there was another woman, potentially other women involved. And it's crazy. You have all these fucking women that you're lying to and using and you couldn't balance out some of the fucking responsibilities you gave me between the others. What? Why did I have so much damn work? You have like two other people. And the only reason why I'm saying two other people, two other women is because I don't know how closely you guys paid attention to those messages between myself and the ex-girlfriend's daughter. But she said that allegedly there is a rumor going around that there is a third baby conceived and born in the last 12 months. So there allegedly is a third baby. That's three babies in one fucking year. Plus, the man was out getting another woman's car washed with the ex-girlfriend's credit card. Not even two weeks after she had their baby boy. So we know that there's another one. And I don't know if you just met her a month ago or two months ago. She probably was always there, especially since me and the ex-girlfriend were sharing our notes. There were some dates and days where you went with either one of us. So you must have been out fucking because that's all you know how to do. You really need to work on that shit though. Like you really need to work on that shit. See, the thing is, usually when a woman is with a not shit man, I'm talking about everybody knows it. Everyone knows it. Men, women alike, we all know it. He's lying, he's cheating, he's physically abusive, he has no job, he takes your car, he fucks up your credit, your kids are afraid of him, he, you know, smacking everybody around. When a woman stays with a man like that, women typically just naturally assume the sex must be amazing. He must have some really good sex because what else is there to be there for? You do all of those things with the exception of physical abuse and yet your sex is not it's bottom shelf your sex is bottom shelf your sex is the little samples they give out at bj's and sam's club people need to test it before they actually buy it the more that i think about all of this the more that i read the more that i research the more that I communicate with other people the more i talk to my therapist the more that i'm getting a better understanding of esmodius as a whole and there's gonna always still be a gray area of misunderstanding because the man's not a human being. And I mean that so very seriously. There's something very inhumane about him. Very, very inhumane. As human beings, when we see this kind of activity and this kind of person, we like to just think somebody hurt this man. He's broken, he must have had a traumatized, troubled childhood, whatever the case may be. I mean, he was an asshole with me, but the way that he has been with the ex-girlfriend, he's not human. You know how people say that when someone is an addict, you don't really know them become, you don't know them sober. And if you do know them sober and they're an addict, they're probably going through withdrawal. So you still don't know them. I don't know Asmodeus outside of his actions and the kind things that he ever did do for me or my children, they were all motivated. So again, I can't even, I can never look back on September, October, November, December, January, I can never look back on anything that he did and feel like I can take something good and wholesome from it. All I think about is how you were visiting me in the hospital in October. You were spending the night with me in November, in December, in January, and you were leaving your pregnant girlfriend behind with your daughter and told her that you were at work. So, no. Let's say the ex-girlfriend was lying about everything or fabricating it, if you will. Let's say that you still lied to me. You still lied to me from the day I met you, so there's just no way you ever loved me. And judging by how you love your kids, I don't think you are capable of love. You're just capable of using people. Another thing that the ex-girlfriend said to me was, this, this was in the same conversation when she said, I just really feel bad for all the kids. I feel bad for the babies. And I told her confidently, 
he's never going to know my son. Asmodeus is never going to know my son. And she seemed taken aback. And she was like, you don't want your son to know his father? And I was like, no, no, not at all. And here are the reasons why if it wasn't so very obvious. I thought Asmodeus was just a fucking asshole. I thought he was just a narcissistic little asshole. I'd even renege on some things that I have said about him being a narcissist. I would say an asshole with traits, character traits of a narcissist. But now with all the things that I know about him and the estranged children, the three children that he failed to mention even existed, the way that he has been a compulsive liar and cheater, the way that he's treated you, the way that he's currently treating you. You just had a baby. You just had a beautiful baby boy. The way that he treats his daughter, the way that he has sat here and sent me your daughter's photos to use her as leverage in his lies that he's a single father and he's just dead of the year and that's not even true. I would have to be on cocaine to sit up here and let that man around my son. I have already seen what he's done to everybody else that he loves. It's never going to happen. Unless a judge mandates it and tells me that I have to, he does not have to worry about me. He does not have to worry about my son. You will pay your child support though. That's when you'll get to see me. But I will never let that man around my son. And when my son is old enough to understand something, anything, I'm gonna let him know your father was mentally unwell and he is still searching for help. And sometimes sick people don't know that they're sick. So they don't know how to get help or where to begin. That's what I'll be telling my son. But why would I sit here and watch six other women and seven other children get on a roller coaster that completely derailed and then get in line to get on that bitch too? No, no. It would be so foolish of me to know everything that I know about that man and expose my son to that man. Had I known what I know now, he would have never, ever, ever had access to my children. And even though they have been unscathed, I know what the hell he was doing. I know what he was doing. And one day they're gonna know too. He was using my kids as leverage. And I wish I could erase that moment. I wish I could erase ever having met him, ever have given him the opportunity and privilege, privilege of being around my sons.